guys, it's Lindsay at the blog Repurpose and Upcycle, and today I'm going to do a fun project and show you how to dye a lampshade with Rit dye. And I'm going to show you how to do like an ombre effect on this lampshade. This is a really simple project. It doesn't take but just a few steps, but before that you're going to want to gather your supplies. You're going to want to obviously get a lampshade. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is get your Rit dye. Rit dye comes in a few different types and um, I just got the all-purpose dye and it should work fine. Um, the next thing you're going to want is a big bowl. You're going to want a bowl or a bin large enough for you to be able to fit this inside of it however deep you want to dye whatever you're dyeing. Now since I'm doing the ombre effect, it doesn't have to go too tall because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the, the boldest color here at the top and it's going to gradually get lighter and lighter and I'm only going to dye up to here and then I'm going to take a foam brush and then I'm going to brush the dye up a little further. And by the way, you don't have to use a steel or a metal bowl, it can be a plastic bowl. And then I am going to use a foam brush, like I said, to kind of try to pull that color up a little bit to give it that ombre effect. You are going to want to use rubber gloves. And then I just have a measuring spoon to measure out uh, some of the, the dye and it also calls for putting in a little bit of liquid dish detergent first and a lot of hot water and I'm going to show you in just a second how to do that. It says to mix or to add the hottest water that you can. So I turned the tap up really hot and I got it as hot as it would go. And then the next thing it says to do is to add a teaspoon of liquid dish soap. So I'm going to add a teaspoon of that. Okay. Gonna let that sit a second. And then it says to shake up the Rit dye really well. And then it says to use a half of the bottle of dye with three gallons of the hottest uh, water safe for fabric. Uh, now because I'm only using about a half a gallon, um, I'm just going to use just a little bit of this, not a whole lot. And this is fairly straightforward. The more you use, the darker the color is going to be. So if you just want to dye it just a little bit or you want a light variant of the color bottle that you bought, don't use a lot of dye. But if you want it to be super dark, you want the color to be super rich, follow the instructions or use even more than it says. It's not going to hurt anything. So I'm just going to pour a little bit of dye in here until I get the desired color I want. So after you've shaken it up really well, grab your gloves, put your rubber gloves on, and now we're going to pour a little bit of the dye in here. And like I said, however much water you have, however dark you want the dye to be is how much dye you're actually going to pour into the container. Okay, so now I just have a plastic fork and I'm going to mix it really well. All right, once it's mixed really well, now comes the fun part. Keeping your gloves on, I'm going to submerge this in here and it says to effectively dye the fabric, you're going to want it to sit at least 30 minutes. So I'm going to let it sit here for maybe 15 minutes. I'm going to come back and check it. And then I'm probably going to take this, I'm going to dip it in some of the water and push it up just to give it that more, um, that subtle ombre effect. I want to show you guys what I've been doing. So I'm taking my little, my foam brush and I am just dipping in here and I'm just kind of pushing the water up just like that. And I'm going all the way around, just pushing the water up. And then when I'm done um, going up and down with it, I'm kind of going across to make that more of a delineated line. And then let me show you this. So it's been about 10 minutes and you can see it's getting, um, you can see it's doing a pretty good job of darkening. And I already love the fact that this is darker than this. 
and in about another 10 minutes I'm gonna take my foam brush and I'm just gonna pull that color up even more to maybe have three different shades the last thing I'm gonna do is kind of soak my brush just a little bit and um, gonna offload it a little bit and just take my brush and just push the color up just to more or less dampen it not so much to put a lot of color on it but just to dampen it I don't want it to be um, really blue or really dyed I just want a that subtle ombre look okay you're gonna do this until you go all the way around and it doesn't have to be perfect that's one thing I love about this the ombre look is um, it's a little more artistic than it is you know super perfect I'll take a quick look it's looking good it says once you reach the desired color to run it with cold water until the color runs clear and then sit and let it dry completely okay guys so here is the finished product you can see it's super subtle but just enough to just give it a little variation i love the way it turned out and this was such an easy super simple project that really anyone can do guys i hope i've given you a little advice uh, a quick tutorial on how to use red dye to dye a lampshade see you again next time